Hi, I'm Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the anomaly detection and then the forecasting how we can do in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI file and basically what does the anomaly is. Anomaly usually in the dictionary it refers to unusual or else normally anomaly is deviation from the normal or common order or from a rule. This is the adventure work sales and here I have taken the sales date and based on that how much the quantity we are shipped based on the sales date and we have covered from 2011 to 2013 based on that we have this much of ranges here. But here we don't know exactly where the up and downs is because there is too much of data available here. On that basis, what we can do? So we can go to this line chart. I did a line chart and on the right side of the visualization pane, you have this analytics tab. Click on that. If you go to the bottom of the page, you have this find anomalies. Click on that. It will expand to this one and before to that you have to enable this feature on the preview settings which is available in the options so go to file and then options and settings and then options so under preview feature you have to enable this one anomaly detection you can click ok so now as i already did that so we can expand this one on the which is in pain analytics tab of this line chart can click on add here and if you look at the graph now we got this much of dots here so these are the areas which we have anomalies if i click here what it says is on 1st of february 2013 the sales amount is 46000 but the expected is 39 expected minimum is 32 an expected high is 46,156. It is more than the expected value. So that's why it is taken as anomaly. So the data is huge when compared to the previous day transactions. So that's why. So now coming back here, if you look at the sensitivity on the visualization pane, so it gives an option like control the breadth of the expected range. When sensitivity is high, more data points will be marked as anomaly and when sensitivity is low pivot data points will be marked as anomaly so whichever it is showing it in on top so it is showing as the anomalies are higher than the expected and if it is lower in the anomalies point so it is the lower than the expected so the sensitivity is set to 70 percent so if we increase this value here then we will get more anomalies on that so if i'm setting it to 90 and click apply so see we get lots of data points here these are the analysis here so if you go here you can further use this explain by function why this is add a field that might explain anomalies in this visual if you find any correlation will show them in the anomalies pane so if you click on here uh, this is sales trend by sheep date with anomaly so i want to get it by subcategory in that case, I will just drag and drop the English product subcategory here to this one and then click apply. So this will helpful when we click on any of the data points here. Now let's move back to this one to 70 and then click on apply. So it reduces the data point. So if I click any of the values here, for example, this one, 1st of February, if I click here, it will open up a side pane here that is for the anomalies findings. So here it says these are the values here so sales amount by ship date was unexpectedly high on 1st of february 2013 it had a value of 46265 which is above the expected range of 32 to 46 so if I click here it is also showing the same thing on this tooltip so possible explanation so we have drag and drop the subcategory here we couldn't find any significant explanation for this anomaly Try adding new fields to explain by section of the analytics pin. So if I remove here and then click on the fields, let's take an example of this one, date itself. And for example, 
now let's take for the sales table and i want to add here the customer so if i had the so we'll drag take the customers here so click here first name so click here and then apply so still so still it is couldn't able to find the values behind that so let's add something else so click on gender and then apply so let's see if we can add multiple items here yes we can add so i'd like to add the category as well english description and then click apply it will search for the value if there is any possible explanation out there so still it couldn't be able to find the reason if it is there then it will show up the value why there is a huge increase here we click on some other date as well let's try with that still not so in this case it is not able to find that the reason why it is so much high on that so basically let's go to the formatting option so we have this option like how it has to look like so we have this option like um, you can use the round amble you can use this water drop option square or something else whichever you want and he can also set the size of his and you can define the color as well so let's change this to red so it is in the color the fill expected range style so it has to fill a line or none so basically if you look at this value here it is highlighting uh, the gray colors here so if you can't able to see that let's op enable this option which is uh, released on november 2020 so go to this format option and you have this option like zoom slider i'm just turning it on here so it gives me the slider options here i'm just going to make a small here so that we can able to see the graphs over there so if you look at this one we have this gray colors over there so it is that this is what about this one the expected range style is to fill should be line it will give only the borders here if you want able to see that let's set the transparency level and set it to be zero here so you can see this lines here right so that's the thing and if you want to fill it it will fill up the gray color as expected as the transparency is in zero so it is showing it like that so set it to be 50 then it will be in the gray color see so if i reduce further the period here you can able to see much more clearer here so this is the thing so let's set it to be 70 okay this is good so these are the options available for this anomaly detection with the help of this anomaly detection we can easily able to find where there is a high or low in our sales transaction or manufacturing of the product anything else Without that, we can't able to find that. It will be hard for us to find each and every data points here if we have a huge number of data. But in this case, we have a huge number of data and with the help of these visuals, we can easily identify where there is anomalies here. So now, the next thing is about the focus. But the focus has been grayed out here. If you click here, then it says this anomaly detection and forecasting can't be enabled at the same time. So what we'll do is we'll just go here and then close this one. So now the focus is enabled here. I will just turn off the slider as well. Now we have all data here. If you click on focus and here if you click on add, it gives me this option that the focus length should be 10. It is a point swing. It is years, quarter, month, day, hours, minutes, seconds as well. If we have something like quantity, then we can use the point as well. In this case, we have the data of daily basis. So I'm setting it to be days. Okay. So now ignore loss. If you want to ignore something, say for example, today uh, we are on the 10th of December for an example. And if you don't want to make the calculation of the first 10 days of this month, then we want to set it from end of uh, november in that case you can use this one to remove the last 10 days of the point 
so ignore last 10 days means it will just ignore the last 10 days of the value it will take until November 30th so level of confidence how much you had to make the confidence on that another seasonality the number of points in a recurring seasonal patterns so how much seasons it is basically we are setting it to auto so it has to consider all the values as a complete season so if you click on apply here it will give a value here grayed out here like so i'm just using this zoom slider again to turn it on so if i go expand this one so we got this value here right so what based on the data which is showing it here till then and it is what it is saying is until december end we have the data so for the upcoming january we will get this much of ranges here what it is showing it here and this is about what it says the confidence interval is there, right so this is about this one if you want to reduce this one you can reduce that if you click on 199 that's the maximum available so it will change the graph value here if you click on apply so it will give the range will be the maximum here if you go to this confidence level to 75 percent the deviations plus or minus will be the short here so it is just predicting the forecast that it will be on the 5th of january this much with the sales of 68,000 the upper one will go to 79 and lower it will go to 58 so these are you can able to use the anomaly detection and the forecasting in power bi and these are the powerful features in power bi and this is even the a enable so it understands our data and detect those things how we can detect the anomalies and how we can predict our the forecasting this is the cool thing right so in the upcoming days we are going to cover much more a features available free of cost in power bi stay tuned for that if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video